hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are watching for the first time welcome 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 please like comment and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you're the first person to know when the next video is out and for those of you who are returning subscribers welcome back i'm actually on my way out now i'm gonna have to run a few errands and then grab something to eat on the way back i think for the rest of the day we'll be spending it at home and then maybe make something nice for dinner and so i'll take you with me for the next few days and i hope you guys enjoy this is my go-to meal at mcdonald's and so for the rest of the day we spent it chilling and i'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys so we're about to do bath time now well his bath time and then i'll shower afterwards so we usually wash him twice a day in the morning and in the evening and now after we're done i think we'll take a drive we initially wanted to go to the beach but the weather's not so great today it's a little bit windy so we'll probably just end up taking a drive and we'll see how that goes but yeah which direction so i'll take you with me on that drive as well um so for now i'll quickly just give him a bath and then see um there afterwards oh we've already had breakfast by the way and today's breakfast wasn't so heavy um just did eggs and bacon and that's it but in the to take a video of that but yeah so i'll check you guys when we're done
So we're done with bath time and my clockwork little man over here is fast asleep. So this gives me time just to tidy up and then take my shower and prep what he's going to eat after waking up. So without wasting any further time, let me do that and then, yeah, some one bar to me after that. Hi guys, so we're on the way to grab a snack or is it lunch? Man, guys. Okay, I did say buns I'll pick up for lunch, but I think I'm actually going to cook for dinner. So we're on the way to KFC, which was up the road from here. And I'm with my sister. And I got for novella, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But um, we'll be spending the rest of the day with her. So after lunch, you know, bah, I'll be offline. And then, yeah. See you in a bit. Hi, Sister Johnny. Jeep Pili, Lenty Tella, E Streetwise 2. Eh, where's Drumstick, one of the portions. Okay, you can And the, if possible, then you may wing. Then, and we won Streetwise 2, ne? Drumstick, may wing. Yes, please. And then, the Tella, the box, Nespi, Nilef, 9 99 a box, don't do it. Uh uh, it's a, it's a box meal. Imagine 59.99. Yes, that one. Can I swap it, Winky? Are you? It's fine. The Tella Imezi Strawberry Sunrise is a two. It's fine. 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 Okay, thank you so much. It drives through. I always hate how tight they are. What's the chicken making? The chicken making has the worst. No, it drives through like it's the worst. Thank you. Thank you. We're back home, and little homie is fast asleep. So we're gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon, and see you guys tomorrow. I usually go to my suppliers every second or third week depending on my orders as well and they've got a variety of pretty things that they've got on offer and this activity usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on what it is that I need to get and so they've got various packaging options as well sparkles they've also got essences and coloring various nice things that you can use if you're a baker and also i like this part of my routine because it helps me to source things that i read up on new things that i can try and it also helps with the creativity process as sometimes I run out of ideas in terms of what to make and so this is a different supplier and I like this supplier specifically because they've got a wider range of different things that they have on offer 
and they are open literally every day of the week until late and they've also got various packaging options so i'll take you through the different aisles um what i like here is that it's not just for baking they've got various other things you can use and they've got a nice store layout in terms of how wide and open it is and i enjoy this one because they've got they literally have everything under one roof so yeah got a small delivery from take a lot and this is a dough scraper i've been waiting for it for a while now and i'm glad that they finally delivered so today in the morning i had to go and run a few errands but i had to wait for a take a lot delivery and so and then i had to go to my suppliers there's three suppliers that i get my stuff from um, locally and then a fourth supplier is out of town so i usually just buy and then one of they deliver from out of town i'm so disappointed guys the one supplier that i buy the majority of my stuff from has increased their prices so many times over the past month and a bit and as a result in this club, i'm not going to go back there but guys something that costs 30 rands usually is now 50 rands i i couldn't believe it and i only realized since yeah to the other supplier but i should have gotten this here instead but because the two places are on opposite ends i just decided well let me keep the stuff and then for the next time your thing is in door i will just not go back there i am so disappointed guys Ooh. and i don't know if other people also do this but now if a supplier does that and the and yeah they put my own girl on donor so yeah i'm a little bit disappointed in them and now i need to look for another supplier in case but um we'll see how that goes so for the rest of the day i'll just be chilling um and prepping well firstly prepping for the rest of the week because i've got a few orders um got lots of work for tomorrow and then there's the public holiday as well so i will be taking it easy here for the rest of the afternoon to the evening and then i think i'll shoot again also if i remember to depending on how busy it gets and then yeah i hope you guys are having a good day i will see you guys tomorrow so this is from a week or two ago from the sessions we have for the Academy of Women Entrepreneurs. So on this particular session, right after we did the introductions as usual, then we had to do our elevator pitch. So everyone was caught off guard, as you can see. And as fate would have it, I had to go first. So this was so nerve wracking, guys, but it was done. I'm busiest for my orders from Wednesdays until Saturdays 
and i had some stunning orders this week so i'll just show you what they look like and that's pretty much how my week goes on average thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put on the notification bell so you're the first person to know when the next video is out thanks for watching